what's up YouTube as we run into the back of this guy? Why are you breaking? I can't even see around you, that boat is so big. <laughs> Alright, what's up guys? Dapper Dan here. Another beautiful day here in Colorado. It's actually uh, pretty hot out. <laughs> it's at least 90 degrees. Uh, that's why I am in full squid mode right now. <laughs> it is way too hot. There is a slight breeze that feels nice. But uh, we're just we're going on a chill ride anyway. We're not going to do anything crazy. So I figured it would be all right to squid. We'll get you guys some uh, good views up here if we don't run into a bunch of cyclists like those people. Going up my uh, favorite canyon pass here, up at Horse Tooth Reservoir. And on my bike that I ride the most right now, um, and that brings me kind of to the point of this video. Welcome to my six month long term review of my 2021 Zero FXS. Um, I purchased this bike back in December, and you guys know why I had to do that in December. Um, but uh, this is my six month review. I've had it on s for six months. Um, I've only had it on YouTube since like March or something like that, I think is when I revealed it. But yeah, so in those six months, um, it's brand new 2021 so you wouldn't expect it to have any issues and I have had exactly zero issues. <laughs> um, it's been a perfect bike, nothing's ever gone wrong with it, um, that wasn't really my fault. Uh, so in those six months uh, we have put on 2,783 miles on it. And my range has only gotten better since the first day I used it. Like, it was also very cold when I first started riding this. The first time I took it out was in January, all by myself, just taking it out to see how it was. And it was, it was a nice day in January, it was probably in the 50s. Um, and I took it out and then took it on a couple more rides after that. Then I went to go charge it. And I guess the batteries were way too cold. Um, they were not able to charge past a certain point. Um, so that's one thing I've learned about at least cold weather charging with this. Um, it does not like to charge that well in the cold weather. Now I got a cruiser behind me. <laughs> um, also, I forgot to do my six month review on my 48, so uh, we'll just skip that and save it for the one year review. People seem to be more interested in this bike anyway than the 48. Um, so my range has only gotten better. I mean, I get way better than um, what Zero says you're supposed to get range wise. Like, range wise says um, on their website, this says you'll get 50 miles in the city and 100 miles um, on the highway. And this windscreen right here gives you an extra 5%, so 100 miles plus 5% is 105 miles total. And I've been getting way better than that. Um, I'm getting on my charges, I mean, if it was all city, if I was all city driving, I would get at least 120 miles. Um, all highway, I'm getting at least 75, 80 miles. It is, it's crazy how efficient this could be but um yeah so this bike is absolutely amazing I ride it absolutely everywhere as you can tell by the mileage already in six months um, I still like the windscreen on there it helps since I commute so much on this bike it helps with the, the uh, wind resistance on your chest um, so I actually haven't taken that off. Normally, I would just leave it on for um, for winter driving. 
um, but I I've just left it on it helps with the range a little bit too and helps with wind fatigue all right you're gonna pass me I guess Oh, uh, what we got here? Naked bike. Nice stock for sure. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm just gonna keep on the windscreen on. It doesn't bother me too much. It's not. It's, I mean, it looks fine from this angle. From the front, it looks a little weird, but from this angle, it looks fine. Um, as far as mods go in the six months, it's just the ones that I purchased from the factory and also this Modernosity uh, brake reservoir cover. The only other real mod I want to do to it is change the color of the plastics. Still looking for anybody who wants to trade. <laughs> if you have a 2020 um, Zero FXS or FX even with the black plastics with the blue accents um, I'll trade you. <laughs> oh geez, that motorcycle. You didn't quite have enough room there, dude. But uh, yeah, so this bike is definitely awesome. In the six months that I've had it, no issues at all whatsoever. I'm probably going to have to get tires every year with as much miles as I put on it. Um, I'll have to look up what the tire change intervals are i'm guessing uh, anywhere between 5,000 and 10,000 miles and as you can see on a downhill like this we don't even use the brakes just use the engine braking here or regenerative braking i should say and look we're going downhill not even touching the throttle it's keeping us at 31 30 miles an hour it's even slowing us down and we're getting more power in the batteries now we're going 27 and still going downhill. I actually have to give it a little throttle to catch up, I guess. These people behind me will get mad. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, we'll let it slow us down some more. You never hardly touch the brakes on here, so... Nice, that guy was going pretty quick. <laughs> so, I don't think it's going to need brake pads for a while or brake fluid. Uh, that's why I put this reservoir cover on so the sun, it's a clear brake reservoir, which I don't know why they did that, but uh, the sun just destroys everything. Like if you have outdoor furniture, the sun will destroy that. Um, so that's why I put that on to protect the brake fluid so the ton sun doesn't deteriorate it a little bit. Um, you don't want that to happen. And uh, the other one's hidden. Uh, one, I guess, kind of small issue I have noticed is this screen right here. Um, in the hot sunlight, I have to park it outside at my work, but in the hot sunlight, the screen kind of like has a weird color to it. Um, when it's left out in the sunlight. So what I end up doing is I just uh, push this down over the screen. So that way at least gives it a little bit of shade. And that helps a lot. But in direct sunlight it kind of... Uh, kind of... Like it's... I don't know how to explain it. But it's like anything you leave out in the sun. But uh, that's the only real issue I have. It's kind of like a design flaw, I guess. Or I probably could leave like a washcloth or something over it. Um, but then if it was windy, it would get blown off, obviously. There you guys go. That is six months with my Zero FXS. I hope you enjoyed uh, this, uh, my uh, first long-term review of it. If you guys liked the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Leave me a comment. Let me what you think of the bike. Let me know what you think of the review and the video and if you really like the video share it with a friend if you haven't already hit the subscribe button thanks for watching and have a good day